again. Um, just like to uh, get you to state your name and where you're from. Jason Kaler, Carmen, Manitoba. Uh, what crops do you grow in Carmen? Uh, we grow uh, potatoes, corn, wheat, oats, canola, and soybeans. How long have you been uh, doing very great fertility? It's been about uh, it's been about four years now uh, since we started. And uh, what made you make the decision to, to start working with uh, VR? Well, I guess it was something I'd heard about, and, and uh, Darby stopped by and, and was advertising it, and uh, so. Yeah, it was something we we were looking for something to improve our qu potato quality uh, with the varying uh, soil types in, in certain fields, and uh, so we decided to give it a try, and, and we've been uh, pleasantly surprised. Any hiccups when you first started in regards to the technology and the rate controllers and monitors and such? Uh, that part's probably been okay. Uh, I don't. I mean, obviously, it always takes a certain amount of uh, planning when something is new, uh, as far as. The map it, maps going into the floater and, and things like that, it's been relatively trouble free. Uh, you know, Dar Darby's been really good being around, uh, keeping us going. Uh, you know, even if there was a few uh, blips here and there, he's been right there and, and, and got us, kept us going, so it's, it's been good. What types of thing did, things did you notice uh, in your potatoes when you started varying the rate of nitrogen? Well, we, we typically had a problem. Our, our soil tends to go from a lighter ridge, say, down a little bit. Maybe the lower areas are a touch heavier, which typically would have a little more residual nitrogen. So we would often notice that our ridges were running out of gas and our, our lower, heavier areas were tending to be a little on the green side, affecting our gravity. Now in today's potato business, obviously yield goals is important, but quality is paramount. So we were trying to address that issue and, and so this came along and, and fit in very nicely. Uh, did you notice anything else in, in some of the other field crops uh, in regards to results? Yeah, we've not, I, I think I've noticed it just about in everything I've tried. I mean, uh, the uh, definite yield response in the corn, putting the nitrogen, you know, Corn obviously is a big end user, but still putting it where it needs to be, I think for the co what it costs is, is pretty important. Uh, wheat, we've seen some positive results. Uh, same thing going from the ridges to the lower areas. Typically on our wheat crops, we were having heavy lodged wheat in a lower area and maybe a little thinner on a ridge and we've evened that right out. That's awesome. And uh, canola, uh, I've seen uh, a benefit, maybe not quite as much because there's so many other factors with canola, the, the weather, you know, hot, if it's hot when it's flowering, all, all the technology in the world doesn't help. Um, I think everything we've tried it on, I, I'd have to say we're impressed with. Well, how has it been working with Farmer Jack? Very good, very good. I, uh, Darby's a great guy, we've got a good relationship. He, he really goes the extra mile to make sure we keep rolling, like when we start seeding in, in spring. He's there whenever we need him. I mean, I, I think I this spring, obviously, it was quite a push. We had about three and a half days to get our whole crop in. And I remember having problems with the air seeder at midnight one night, and, and he was perfectly willing to come out and, and keep us going. You know, it's, it's just that part's been awesome. What's your favorite thing about farming? What is my favorite thing about farming? I guess there's so many. <laughs> uh, I just, I guess, I just like the lifestyle. I, I've, I've, I've never, uh, I've never had to think about what I wanted to do. I've, I've known I wanted to be a farmer since I was pretty much old enough to say the word. Uh, I guess uh, I've always been in love with uh, the land and, and and just, just farming in general. Now I have a new baby daughter at home, and and I'm, I'm really looking forward to being able to raise her on the farm and teach her some of the farmer, farm, farming values.